Hi, I'm Ben from the Foot and Ankle Clinic in Darlington, and I'm here today to talk to you about the different types of treatments that we have available at the Foot and Ankle Clinic because we're quite different in what we do. So, first of all, I'm going to look at something called Shockwave. Often gets call, called um, RESWT for short because it's a lot easier than saying it, and it stands for Radio Electrocorporeal Shockwave Therapy. Bit of a mouthful. Right, what does it actually mean now? And that's the big thing. So, this piece of kit here is a fantastic state-of-the-art shockwave system. It is the same system that all of the Premiership football clubs use and all of the uh, England rugby team use it. It's used in the Olympic Stadium, sort of for all the Olympic teams and the different Olympic stadiums at different, different points. Um, basically, it is the top piece of kit that you can have for it. That's why we've got it in. What is it and why does it work and how does it work? The little bit of a history lesson for you. The original technology comes from um, Second World War and the repercussions of um, submarines being depth charged. That's where Shockwave comes from uh, originally. Um, and then it was developed in the 1960s for kidney stones and then developed further and further from there. So what it does, this little piece of kit here has a ball bearing inside it. This is applied to the skin, just like that. And when the machine is turned on, the ball bearing fires up and down at a different rate. Now, those rates are altered here, and they can be set at something very low, um, low moving, but actually quite high impact, which sounds just like that. Doesn't sound like very much at all or it can range right the way down to something much more like this. Now surprisingly, that one is a lot less uncomfortable than the first one, but that's just the way it works. So, what does it actually do? Once it's applied to the skin or the soft tissue, it causes something called a cavitation. As that, as that ball bearing comes up and down and hits the skin, it causes these little shock waves to, to move out into the soft tissue. Now, once it does that, it creates a small level of inflammation in that area, and that starts to in, in, um, speed up the healing process and get people out of pain. It does give you a numb sensation after having it done, um, which if you're in, if you had discomfort, is fantastic. Longer term um, is to get you out of pain and to really speed up the healing process, especially, and it's particularly useful um, really after the six month mark. So in what we would class as a chronic case scenario. So prior to that, its effective rate is pretty poor in the acute phase. It's gotta be longer standing. You've gotta have it for a longer period of time before it really does start to kick in and work well. Um, we would use this really alongside the likes of rehabilitation um, because rehabilitation is a fantastic program for getting you back to where you need to be and this helps to speed up the process um, within, that, within that, um, that treatment system to allow you to get out of pain early on in the programme and really speed up 